It is the highest and the second longest cable car in the world, and it will soon open in Venezuela. CCTV Stephen Gibbs was given exclusive access. This is the rebirth of one of the great engineering projects of the Andes. A cable car taking passengers 12 and a half kilometers from the tropics to the clouds. The original telecabin here was built in the 1950s. It closed in 2008. Now, Venezuelan, Swiss, Austrian and French experts, together with more than three and a half thousand local workers, have constructed a brand new system. The route crosses the spectacular scenery of the Sur National Park. It has four stops along the way. Final adjustments are still being made, but very soon, this August we were told, it will be possible for all to see and appreciate this wilderness in more comfort than the current old-fashioned option. We were invited to join the inspection team on the first journey of the morning to the summit. The temperature at the top close to freezing. So this is the final station of the cable car, 4,765 meters. Now one thing is that's definitely high enough to notice that the air is a lot thinner. The day we were there, there was unfortunately little to see. But when the clouds clear, the view is spectacular. With the cable car not yet open to the paying public, local schools and VIPs are taking part in a series of test visits. On the way down, everyone was reflecting on the adventure. It's beautiful, says this woman, who also said she'd overcome her fear of heights. And maybe there is something in the thin air. This man had just taken the opportunity to propose to his girlfriend. And she said, yes. <laughs> there will be those that wonder whether, given all the troubles in Venezuela right now, this is a bad time to open a new tourist attraction. A question I put to Venezuela's vice minister of tourism. We think that putting into operation a project like this is going to help the Venezuelan economy by attracting money into the country and the employment that a project of this scale brings. This will show the world that it is possible to overcome any crisis. It has taken eight years to complete this project, a result, say the designers, of the unique challenges something of this scale presents. It's not easy working at more than 3,500 meters. You need to remember that the majority of cable cars that exist in Europe and around the world are between 1,500 and 3,000 meters, about the highest in the world. That's higher than 4,700 meters. And that it, that this is a journey unlike any other in the world. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Merida, Venezuela.